uh, a negative exponential function how do you find all these properties of the graph so again the domain of any exponential function is always all real numbers are from negative infinity to positive infinity because the, uh, from left to right, your graph uh, will not end to the left and will not end to the right side. Now, the range depends upon our, uh, our uh, horizontal asymptote. In this case, it's y equals 1. So, it's going to be 1 to negative infinity because the graph, the graph goes to goes down okay so from positive one it, it goes down now the y intercept is also its x intercept so okay the same thing uh, is going to be at zero zero y and x intercept because the graph goes here so both of will be zero zero okay now this doesn't have concavity up. Instead, it has concavity down because the graph is concave down. Now, what are the values of x which will make it concave down? So, again, it's from negative infinity to positive infinity, which is actually the same as the domain of the function. Now, just in case you are actually concerned how to find concavity, these are the values of x which will make your graph concave. Now, it doesn't have to be from negative infinity to positive infinity. It's only true for uh, exponential functions because if your function is rational, there's a limitation between the vertical asymptote of your graph. Okay, now, now let's go to the end behavior. Going to the left first. So when your graph is going to the left, what happens to the value of y? So you are concerned here about the values of y. When you are concerned about the values of x in concavity, the values of y will be the star when it comes to the end behavior. So what happens to your y as your x is going to the left? And as you can see, it approaches positive 1. So as x approaches uh, negative infinity, okay, your y is approaching positive 1. So therefore, you can also write it as negative infinity and then 1. Okay? Now, uh, when it comes to the end behavior, going to the right side of your graph, from, right, from left to right, now go to the right side, you would see that as the x is going in the positive direction, the y is going to the negative direction. So therefore, the answer here will be negative infinity as x approaches x approaches positive infinity or you can also write it as negative infinity comma positive infinity so that's how you look into the negative exponential function about its properties